Children singing musical theatre. I'm sure many of you at one stage or another have experienced the interesting results this combination has the potential to create. Songs which put seasoned performers through their paces are sung with enthusiasm by young voices who do not have the range, volume, vocal stamina, breath capacity, emotional maturity or the years of training to efficiently produce the same sounds as the adult Broadway singer. In addition to this list of things kids don't care about, there are three major risk factors which can lead to vocal disorder. And in 2007, a study found that musical theatre repertoire hits all three at the same time harder than any other contemporary singing style. But it's fun to sing, and children can and do compensate to participate. Now, this compensation risk factor combo might lead to something as simple as mild voice loss. Or it could lead to something like a vocal hemorrhage, where a blood vessel within the fold will burst, distorting the fold with blood, and essentially render the instrument incapable of producing functional sound. Misuse at a young age can have lasting consequences, and considering the potential for misuse in musical theatre and the current lack of resources for this particular area of vocal pedagogy, my research is on exploring the role of musical theatre repertoire in child singing development. What are the true vocal demands in a musical theatre song? How hard does the child voice have to work to meet these demands, and how does this affect appropriate repertoire selection from what's currently available? To answer these questions, I'm investigating current literature on child vocal physiology, so the muscular actions of the sounds they wish to create, and the limitations of the immature voice, while also analysing music theatre repertoire to identify the vocal skills being utilised. I'm then expanding on this knowledge through surveys of contemporary singing teachers and interviews with prominent vocal pedagogues to finally develop an assessment tool measuring the difficulty of musical theatre repertoire for children based off the parameters of the child voice. If we know what the demands are, how these sounds are created, and the abilities and limitations of the instrument we're working with, strategies which support vocal development and navigate around vocal misuse can be made. My research can contribute to stronger teaching strategies, improved methods of assessment, and potentially a reduction in the pathologies and disorders associated with vocal misuse. These are just some of the outcomes I wish to achieve through my research. So when children fearlessly throw themselves into musical theatre, they won't be working their voices until it can't handle it anymore. They'll be using a fundamentally stable, healthy sound which will last them a lifetime.